two-prong question there. You've been known to, uh, you did Jalen's uh, three-point celebration. Do you have any sort of relationship with Jalen, and how, how meaningful will it be to represent not just basketball, but the whole city of New York, both sides of the equation, in Indianapolis? Yeah, um, I mean, we've known each other, um, I'd say since like high school days at USA Basketball, so um, it's been a long time, and obviously with him now in New York, um, just being able to watch his growth and development, and, rooting him on from, from this side um, in Brooklyn, but that's really exciting. I mean, to see what he's done this year, um, the buzz around the city, with how he's been playing, how they've been playing, the numbers he's been able to put up, um, it, it, it's exciting. And yeah, at the end of the day, you know, we are going out there and competing, but it's all for, um, kind of for the same cause and just trying to be our best and represent what we represent. At the departure interviews this year, you mentioned how great it will be to have a quote unquote normal off season this time around. Have you taken advantage of that this time around, especially to the point where you've gotten to uh, be in New York perhaps more often than usual? Yeah, and just being able to train from, from when the season ended, that was something huge, and just continuing to stay in rhythm and, and continue to, to work on my game and get better. That's kind of been the main thing, and being able to have this camp and then another camp in April just continues to help the development and growth of being able to get live games, live play without going having to go overseas and play. So I think that's only going to help me and obviously help the chemistry. There's two other players that are on my team here, so being able to continue to build us three and, and, and for us three to build our chemistry is huge because we can take what we learn here and what we, you know, grow and, and learn here to, to our teams in New York. Hi, Sabrina. Hi. So, day three of camp, what do you think has been the sort of biggest takeaway from this weekend here at Barclays? I'd say just the communication and intention of, of doing every drill with, with the common goal of, of getting better and, and finding ways to continue to mesh. We're not all... Um, you know, here at the same time, a lot of the times there's everyone's out doing their own thing, but being able to share the floor and the court with um, our core group of players is always an opportunity that we don't want to miss on. And so being able to learn from some of the best players in the world who have gone and, and won many gold medals and being able to listen to what they have to say and, and knowing what it took to get there and they're taking their leadership into this opportunity is huge. Yeah. In New York, you're really able to do a lot of success off the ball. You draw so much attention and with players on this roster that can do so many things as well. How do you think you'd be able to take your skills to sort of amplify it and sort of like build Build on it even more in the Team USA context. Just continuing to find ways to be effective. Um, you know, obviously I can shoot and score the ball, but I think one of my greatest gifts is being able to pass and facilitate, and that's something that I always take going into into this type of training camp is knowing who's around me and what their strengths are, and finding ways that I can continue to to um, to help them get the ball, continue to help you know manipulating the pick and roll and, and figuring out ways to help the team win and no matter how big or small that role is. Now I got a question on how has Cheryl Reed made a major impact back on you not just as a player but as a person especially when trying to develop chemistry with all the players in Team USA? Just getting to, to know Coach Reeve in the last two years now um, has just been amazing. Um, I've always kind of watched her from afar and knowing how she's been able to coach and um, her teams, and they've been so successful for a reason because she's at the head of that and understanding that she comes in every single day with um, the same mindset and the same mentality is pushing you to be your absolute best. And so I've just continued to ask questions, learn from her, try and be a sponge because she is um, arguably one of the best coaches in our league and has done that for a really, really long time. And so for me, it's exciting to just be able to be here and learn from her and from a lot of the other coaches because they are at the top of our game. Coach Reeve mentioned in the post scrimmage huddle that she wanted to you know, send a message out there to Antwerp, even with the Olympic bid clinch. In your own words, what would that message be to the rest of the world? Just that we're here. Um, you know, obviously we've already kind of clinched the spot, but we're not going to show up to, to this event and, um, you know, not take it seriously. We are USA Basketball, and to be able to represent um, your country, we, we come in with the same intention, and, and that's to win, and not to win by a little bit, but to come in and dominate and um, go for gold every single time that we play. And I think that message is, has started here in training camp and is going to be sent when we get out there as well. And one more question for me. I mean, how has this training camp helped develop the chemistry with your Liberty teammates in Grand Stadium and Menage Lane? Anytime you're able to get on the on the court, um, particularly with with teammates that you get to you know spend an entire season with, is an opportunity that we get to grow. We we get put into different positions here. Um, we're able to grow in leadership, you know, aspect, but also continue to grow together. Figure out ways um, that we can continue to help one another and help this team. And so, using this opportunity as a time to, for us three to continue to build and be the best that we can be for this team, but take that into um, our New York team as well. The battle. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. About the All Star game, uh, playing against Steph Curry, what excites you the most about that? 
Um, I was a 10 year old kid that was inspired by him and looked up to him. I have um, a picture on my phone of me giving him a high five when he was a rookie. And so just knowing, you know, kind of where I come from and idolizing him and, and seeing him as a mentor to now being able to share the floor. It's, it's one of those opportunities that obviously it's a three point shootout and I'm excited about it. But I think I'm more excited for the little me inside that grew up idolizing him. And I'm not going to take any opportunity um, for granted when I get out there and just being able to kind of take it all in. And, and realize where I'm at and my stage in, in my career and in my life to be able to have that opportunity that um, I, I have always one day you know wished to have and it's here today. The battle between you guys has been compared to the new age battle of the sexes going back to Billie Jean King and, and Bobby Riggs. I'm just curious what how you sort of compare you know what Billie Jean went through and sort of where we are now. I mean, I think it speaks a lot to him, to be honest, and in, in his position on all this. He's He wanted to do this from 20 minutes after I won last year at All-Star. We were on the phone on FaceTime talking about trying to get a shootout going, and I think it speaks volume about him as a person and how he views women's sports. And, um, you know, he, he just wants to play and shoot against another great shooter and, and figure out ways to continue to elevate our games. And so I think that's um, really important, and it, it shines a light on, on where he views us. And, and his push for equality, obviously, he speaks a lot about, um, you know, women's sports, and he has two daughters, and I think that plays a huge role in that. And I think the more, um, the more we can continue to amplify voices and continue to push for the right thing is really important. But obviously, being able to share the same stage. I'm going to shoot from the NBA line and I think it just continued to bridge that gap between the two and hopefully I can make a couple. You made it a point to say that you're going to shoot from the NBA line. What was sort of the calculus behind you being very clear about that? Yeah, obviously just wanting um, to continue to, to kind of push the boundaries and, and continuing to um, kind of just raise the standard and, and understanding that I shoot from there normally and so why not go out on one of the biggest stages and, and try and do it again? So um, kind of just continuing to, to push the needle and, and fight for what's right. And so excited to kind of be able to do that on the big stage and shut a lot of people up. And lastly, what do you think will be an indicator that the battle between the two of you will be a successful thought experiment or, or just a successful experiment in general? Because WNBA players have been put in the celebrity game, but this feels different. Hopefully it's the start of many, um, and, and it's not something that's a, just a one-time thing. I think it's an opportunity to see how it works and to continue to, to kind of push for that. And um, there's been a lot of buzz around it. Tickets are, are selling for the game, and so I think it's, it's an opportunity to have it kind of be this first time, but understanding that there's room for more and continuing to put us on that stage and understanding that um, when you put us out there, we do, we do succeed. And so I'm excited to see the more that we can continue to do and how we can continue to be integrated in that aspect. One step, one. Oh, go, no, please, please. <laughs> what makes Team USA stand out amongst you know, all the other teams around the world? Um, just the best of the best. Um, what's come before us and understanding the, the foundation and the standard that's been set here. And anytime you show up to um, these events, but not only any, any type of training camp, anything with USA across your chest, there's just this sense of pride and understanding that not everyone gets this opportunity. And no matter how big or how small it is, um, it's always an opportunity to represent your country that you know, you've always dreamed of doing. And so for me, I, I never take these these moments for granted and just knowing that it's a lot bigger than myself. It's those that have come before me and those that are, are going to be able to come after me and just wanting to represent myself and my country to the best of my ability. Diana Taurasi, longest tenure player on Team USA. What's it been like to just go through the training camp with you with her? Just learning from her. Um, she understands what it takes to win gold. And so um, for me, being a young player in this league, obviously just wanting um, to learn from her and, and idolizing her, but also understanding that she's she's one of those pioneers of our game that has set the standard of knowing what it takes to, to win at the highest level, obviously in her pro career, but also at the USA standard. And so she's continuing to push us and, and be vocal. <laughs> that vocal leader and um, just continuing to learn from her is what I'm going to do. Sabrina, Coach Reeves said that you've worn the uh, title of face of women's basketball for a long, long time. How inspiring is it to carry that title? And how do you think you're leading the next generation, particularly those like USC's Juju Watkins, into the future? Man, just being able to see what she's, what she did two nights ago. Um, but honestly, all these young players in college, um, to see how they continue to push us and, and, and push the needle for um, you know, women's sports and 
they're they're pushing a lot of those in the younger generation that are going to those games, filling up those arenas and looking up to them. And so I'm just trying to continue to push for that and, and be the best basketball player I can be, but also just the best person. Um, I always want to kind of be known for, for my ability to, you know, try and inspire the, the youth and um, continue to do that, being vocal, but also just staying true to myself and understanding that it's a lot bigger than me. Appreciate your time. So Speaking of inspiring the youth, what is your message to the young, uh, young generation, especially the little girls who are at the bottom of the Sabrina, um, looking at your shoes and you getting ready to not only beat Steph, but also represent our country. Uh, what are your thoughts and what are you going to say to them? Yeah, just staying true to yourself and believing in yourself. Um, not long ago, I was once in their shoes and understand um, understanding kind of the pressures of, of the society and, and what it is that, you know, what box it is that people want to put you in. But just continue, you know, to keep my head down and, and work hard and believe in myself, and that's all I needed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.